Hey guys, Joe Kistel here. Today a quick video about how I upgraded my Toshiba laptop by cloning an SSD drive to replace the mechanical hard drive it came with. All right, so I've got a Toshiba Tecra W50 model and it's a really good machine. Great processor, great graphics card. I'm gonna use this primarily for on the go video editing and graphic work. So I'm going to change out the hard drive with a Kingston Savage 480 gigabyte SSD. It's a great performing hard drive, but it also comes with cloning software to make the transfer real easy. And I'm also gonna go ahead and upgrade the memory with 16 additional gigabytes of Kingston memory. Basically all we need is a screwdriver and then we need a way to plug in the drive while we're doing the cloning. And I'm gonna use this thing here. There's other options for this, but basically this allows me to use the SATA interface on the laptop itself, which is likely the, the fastest transfer. So that's what I'm gonna use. Again, you can use different things for that. So plugging the new drive is one of the first things I want to do. Just take the drive, slide it in, plug it in, and then basically plug this into the SATA side of the computer. And then that will allow me to write to the new drive. So the first thing I want to do is go into disk management. And the way I do that is I'm going to click on our folder here and then up at this PC, I'm going to right click and click here where it says manage. And then I want to go to disk management. Okay, and what's going on here, I'm, I'm going to close this out, but it's detecting my new disk. You can see it here and it's blacked out, which means basically you can't really do anything with it yet. Right click on it, go to initialize disk, GPT is fine, click OK. I'm going to right click again and go new simple volume. Just say OK. Next. It's going to give it a drive letter. That's fine. And then if you want, name it here. Kingston SSD. And leave it on perform a quick format. Click next. Finish. And basically now we'd have a drive. And if you go to my computer, you would recognize it. And there it is right there. Okay, so now we can clone the drive. So one of the, the good things about the Kingston drives is, is they ship with a Cronus software. Cronus is a software that will allow you to clone the drive. So we want to open up a Cronus. I apologize, the display comes out a little weird here, but you want to go to Tools and Utilities and then right up here to Clone Disk. So for most cases, I just leave it on automatic. That makes it pretty simple. And we just go next. And then this part's kind of important. We gotta pick the drive that we want to clone from and clone to. So in this case, the Toshiba drive will be our source drive. So click that, click next. And now we gotta click the destination disk, which in this case is this drive here. Now this is actually isn't the actual Kingston I'm using. It's just a another disk I have laying around just to show the demonstration but it's the same process and you hit next and then it's just gonna say that it's gonna basically delete everything on that drive and you're gonna say okay alright and then it's just saying if you're showing you that source disk is 2 1 and you're gonna say proceed and basically the process is now started it wants us to restart so we're gonna click restart and basically now what's gonna happen is the computer is going to restart and the software is going to complete the clone process. Okay, so now we're ready to swap the drives out and add the memory. So have two screws on the bottom here, loosen these guys up. All right, there we go, that's the lid. And take our stock drive out, we just go like this get it up and just kind of wiggle it and that's our stock drive and now we want to put in the drive we just cloned to our nice HyperX it even looks fancy unfortunately you gotta put it in upside down so you don't get to see all that fanciness but basically you want to line this up and 
slide it in like that. And now for our memory, I'm using the Kingston HyperX Impact, which is supposed to be great performance stuff. Kind of slide this in, line it up, get it under the grooves here, push it down, push it down, then it just snaps in. And then we're gonna put the top one in. Same thing, slide it in all the way, and then just push it down. Locks into place. And it's really that simple. Now we just gotta put on our cover back on. And we're done. And so now we just gotta fire up and see how she works. All right, let's go ahead and start it up and see how fast it loads with the new drive in memory. So, wow, about 10 seconds before we could see the window screen. In the original configurations, it took about 30 seconds. So it's quite a dramatic difference. So I think this setup is going to be great for the work I'm doing. Again, the addition of the Kingston memory and solid state drive, I think I'm going to have one powerful computer to do my video and graphical editing. Thanks for watching.